guys welcome to florida keys life i'm jason if you're new time here please like and subscribe but today we got a special video today um, it's not just me my daughter reagan's coming along she's gonna kind of be my deckhand but she doesn't get to go fishing very often because she's in school and has got softball and everything else All right now just finished up basketball season but uh, we have a family from utah today who's visiting and we met at a church function called the whole lines hope i pronounce that right holine it's holine anyhow they're from utah they've been down here for a couple months they've been bridge fishing and stuff but haven't got to go out on a boat yet so we're gonna take them out today see if we can maybe catch a wahoo or well, we got a whole plan. We're gonna hit some wahoo spots, do some wahoo trolling, kind of where I've caught the last couple of them with the same type of lures there. Got a pretty good spread going here. And then tuna's still hot, so then we're gonna dump out a little deeper, see if we can find those, or maybe a few mahi. They've been around. And then uh, maybe drop a couple times on a deep spread spot or a deep drop, deep drop spot. Um, <clears throat> And come in hit a couple wrecks maybe some patch reefs maybe lukey i don't know we'll see somebody might get sick when they get here we get loaded up i'll give a full intro of everybody and what's going on there so anyhow come along should be fun if we don't catch any fish i might not even show you this video footage but hopefully we'll catch some fish and things will work out it's going to be a nice day today all right everyone so we're here with the, oh let me make sure i'm pronouncing your name right too I, pronounce this morning is it how do you pronounce it exactly holine, holine. like jolene but with nate holine it's okay the holine family and gibson gibson family so we're heading out we're getting a little bit of a late start we're heading down the canal we'll get some footage of that but then reagan's gonna walk around reagan's with me today as kind of my deck hand <coughs> uh and let's see, tell everybody who everybody is so we know what's going okay. on okay so. i'm joel holine i'm father to four of the kids on board I'm Olivia, his oldest. And Olivia, do I understand correctly that you have your own YouTube channel or Instagram or something? My Instagram, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. I'm Cody Hoyne. I'm the second oldest, oldest boy. I'm Kim Gibson, and I'm from the other family. This is I'm Cash Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Charter guy over here, John. Uh, I'm the Anya, third he usually oldest. Usually has a ton of bait underneath his bait. Always out fishing. Yeah. Yeah. The oldest? The third. Oh, third. <laughs> I'm Bonnie. I'm the mom. Okay. Oh, was it my issue? Um, Lincoln. Lincoln. Okay. <laughs> I'm James. I am uh, second in charge of this boat. <laughs> yeah, I think you're third. I think Reagan's got to be. And to point out the Holines and maybe the Gibsons, I don't know, but they got like a super awesome YouTube channel and Instagram with like 70 million subscribers. So, oh, there's there's all the bait. See all the bait balls, boys, underneath that boat. Yeah, that guy feeds them and then he uses them for his charter business. But they hang out right there. Uh, back there underneath his bay boat over there. Is there crabs? Like just all crabs? There's crabs in this canal. We've caught lots of crabs. Uh, but those were mullet that are hanging out by his uh, his bait ball over there. So anyways, they have an awesome YouTube channel. We'll link all their stuff in there. Certainly more than our 25 watchers on this one. So we got a bit of a run. We're going to run out past Picnic Island. You'll see that it's kind of a little sandbar spot. We'll, we'll stop at it on the way in unless everybody's super sick or something. Uh, we're going to run out past the edge of the reef where it drops off to 100, just past Big Pine Shoal. And the plan is that we'll head uh, east then, uh, or west rather, along the edge of the reef, around 200 feet away, or maybe drop off a little deeper. Um, looking for Wahoo. We'll take a couple passes. If that doesn't go, then we'll head out deeper. So we're going to run for a bit. 
those hats are usually a no-go on the boat, so when we get running, just be careful. They're probably going to blow off. Like, I can't even keep my hat on forward because it'll blow off. Yeah. That way, so. So either take your hat off and hold it, or, or hold just it. make sure it's super tight. I mean, it might. Hey, just be ready. We're going to step up on plane here. Everybody, we're all not on stuff. Hold on, cowboy. made it out we're in 200 feet of water uh, just off big pine here so we're gonna start heading west here in a minute but we finally got our four watts broad spread so we've got a uh, what do we got here we got a nomad 180 DTX 180 and that one a Rapala 10 to 20 foot diver I forget the model number we got a nomad 200 and then we got the Mad Max style from offshore angle I caught the water last time out there now, if we can do this without getting tangled and coming back with our lures, that'll be a big success. Uh, so who's going to watch what rod? We got four rods. Sure, you tell You got me. that one? Okay. okay. I'll, I'll watch this guy. Okay, you got that one? You guys got that one. All right, so just, we start going. I'm going to, when we get the boat going the direction we want, then I'm going to pick the speed up a bit to about 10 miles an hour. So the lures will work a little bit. We'll probably have to adjust the drag a little bit. There's something so peaceful about the open ocean. Sit back and enjoy as we troll for Wahoo. Okay, Wahoo trolling this day was unsuccessful. We got a little bit of a late start, actually quite a bit of a late start. And to be quite plain, Wahoo are elusive. Not everybody catches them. I've been uh, fairly lucky as of late. However, this day was not happening. So we went into a wreck that was in about 100 foot of water and we do a little bit of fishing here. As you see. Set him free. Oh. oh no, where'd he go? Oh. You got him? Yeah. Alright. Let's see what you got, buddy. Alright, there's fish too. Do you need a net? Alright, let's get a net. Oh no, you don't need a net for that. That's a it's a bar jack. You let your let your uh, line out a little bit longer. I left it? It's called a bar jack. What's that mean? Uh, so let your drag out so you can work with it. There you go. A bar jack? Mm -hmm. oh, that's a These are good bait for kingfish and stuff. Are they? Mm -hmm. Kingfish? 
Can you nope. throw one out now or no? Probably not. Probably yeah, there's probably, probably not any kings right here. Eating? No, they're not good eating. Okay, okay there's your hook. You want to hold this guy up for your photo? Oh, yeah. Like, can I see? I mean, that's one of the buckets. Then I want to use that for now. Bar jack right here. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Color's pretty. Yeah. Except for the red. I thought it was going over more. That one. Hey, but that's a nice shot. Silver. Whoa! What do you got? Same another another I bar jack. <laughs> All right. It makes if we were out of bait, we could cut him up for bait. But now you want to be careful with tension on here, rigs, when you're pulling a hook out. So you want her to, yeah. You need pliers, rigs? Okay. And right here. Yeah, their the meat is is kind of red, like tuna, but it's really oily. Uh, I mean, you could if you wanted to make oh, soup or something out of it, but it's kind of works better for bait. They're not super great to keep. You want a picture with them? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I got a fish on. We got another one. We got another one. Oh no! I think you might have got a bite, but you got robbed, buddy. Look at that baby mangrove snapper. Yeah. Oh like That's like what you catch from the bridges. You guys want to come see it? I know it's a. I think it's a grunt. Yeah, it's a blue stripe grunt. Good job. You're learning what to do with your hook. Good job. Actually, no. That's a little mangrove snapper. All right. Well, who trolling wasn't working, but came in here. So, what to was on wreck. the end of your? What bait did you have? It's cut bait. It was a chunk of belly. Okay. So we got a fish on here. What's your name, buddy? I'm Cody. Cody. You're the sick one, aren't you? No, no. no that's oh, Lincoln. Okay. Just same color shirt. <laughs> oh, man, just awoke from his puking nap and caught a oh fish on us. Cody. No. no, the one that was puking said, I'm really sad because I want to fish. And then you reel, reel on the way down. You pull it up and reel on the way down. Yep, there you go. Good job. Oh, good job. Nope, now pull up. Good. Take your slack good back. Advice. There you go. Just make sure that the crack on it. Drag it like Joel, you want yep, me to good. film in too? Let's grab a net. Yeah, I've got, got, I've got, just keep small. filming. Line edit. Okay, code. Okay, we lift should up. should probably get that other line out of the way. Watch here. You step one? over here, I'll get it out of there. Here, you, you, you be the net man. How do I? I'll get that rod out of the way. Okay, now we'll have to hand line it in once it gets in there, right? Oh, did you actually get something? Hey! Oh, it's a mutton snapper. Damn! That might be a keeper. It's a mutton right there. Put it on the deck. It's got to be 18 inches. Oh my gosh, Coach. It's got to be 18. Over. That's dinner, baby. Let's figure it out. Okay, the measurements are. right here. Let's make sure. Okay, it's 18. I'll just hold it down just real low right there. Look down a little bit. Right there. Ooh, that guy's pretty. You pinch the tail. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Barely good. makes yeah. 18. Are they good eating? Yeah, well, yeah, they're the best eating. There you go. Hold that pig up there, buddy. Oh my gosh. Grab him by the gills. Right here? Yep. Scrub, yeah, yeah. Scrub put your finger in there. there. His teeth are sharp. Don't put your finger. Don't put your finger by here. Yeah, that's where you now these, it. these these are all sharp up here, yeah. so don't mess around there. Just hold them by the gill plate right here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Shove it in there. Scoop, show them in there. You, it won't hurt you in there. Okay, come over this way, Code. Turn and look at mom. Oops, sorry. Okay. Oh, baby, Code. <laughs> Mutton snapper right off the bat. Yeah, baby. Okay. That's big. He's just that's big. That's a good like size. Him. 18 inch, very <laughs> legal. <laughs> Mom, it was right. this big. Really legal, right off the bat. <gasps> Keep holding it. We got to get the hook out of his mouth now. Swim along. We can put these midwater columns. It matches your shirt. Mine or hers? Look at her. Wrestle that thing one more. <laughs> that's how. That's the best way to do it. Just hug it right in there on your chest. Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah. you guys hear that? She's holding that fish. That's awesome. Because it's pokey on the top fins, uh -huh. but if you just hold that tight against that way, it don't stab you. Yeah, that's awesome. So. What's going on? I think it's chumming the waters. Bro. Oh, again? Dang, that's is that his puke? Oh my goodness, that's better than our chum bag. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. No. I'm bring the fish. Oh, buddy, that should be it's right there. No, it's not. Okay, it's you hold the okay. fish. You can see the other side of the. Yeah, dinner. Okay, we gotta retie that hook. Oh, you cut the line? Okay, let's bring it bleeding. 
So Carter, I want you to pay attention so you, can, so you can learn how to So to bleed them, don't you have to put your fingers under the gill plate and then rub it? Oh, watch. Just stab them right behind the eye. That brings and kills them first, and then you run the gills, stab the boat, which gets that down towards the inside. There, good. Right there. And then twist the knife. Twist, 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 all the way in so he's dead. Okay, now run your knife through the gill plate to get him bleeding. Oh, he's okay. He's fine. If he thinks he's okay, he's okay. You're not going to want to try to cut like that. You don't want to the feet. Nice. Here, That's like a it, give it these two? Oh, yeah, 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 give so it to him. Barely legal. Come on in here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! One, two, three. You guys are so cute. Wasn't Good work, buddy. Tony, do you Let's want anything by yourself or anything? Yeah, can I just get one? Mm-hmm. Okay, we made it back to the dock. Now we're going to clean this mutton snapper and walk you through that process. This will be a catch and clean without the cook. And oh, we only brought one home, is that right? Yeah. Look at that bad boy. Is he dead? Catch of the day. Mm -hmm. It's already frozen. Pretty. Long arm, giant mutton snapper. Barely 18 inches. Did it go the red because of the blood? Or is that kind of their natural color? Like, I don't remember it being that red. I yeah, no, they're pretty. Like, this orange, all this orange through here. That's all. That's yeah, normal. Yeah. Fingers, good one. <laughs> yeah, so see the, the blue stripes through there? Super pretty fish. Mm -hmm. And this black dot is the telltale for a mutton snapper. Mm -hmm. There's a lane snapper and dog snappers look pretty similar. Did you did some did you want to try to fillet it? Oh, gross. No? Okay. Well Cody, I think you ought to be up here to learn yeah, how. I mean look at So you wanna so there's some meat all the way up in here. You can oh, feel the softness right here. What so we're gonna cut right along and trace it and cut around its stomach and come out about where its anal fin is at. And then we'll come down and trace along its spine right there. That's how we'll, we'll start. So we'll go right around in there. The scales are pretty pretty tough get through there to kind of get that head meat and trace it down through here around the stomach and out about, about there yeah check the stomach yeah we'll do that yeah. see I'm gonna follow right along his spine just get it started and then I can feel the spine with the tip of my knife and then I'm gonna come out right below there and just follow Right along the spine. Wow. Ooh, to get as much as we right can. That's getting wild. And then we're just gonna follow right along the spine. Cross much because you're not sick. It's not like yeah. gross. Oh, nice. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's not like a gross kind of cutting fish. Mm. It's got a big rib cage. You just gotta snap it. Cut through his ribs. This is out of your back pocket. There we go. It's a nice chunk of meat. See, there's not a whole lot left on here. We could make some ceviche out of. We could kind of clean a little bit more of this. And yeah, there's not much there. Yeah. That's pretty dang good. We need some bait. That is good. Do you, is there a lot of bones within this or no? Yeah, so those rib, that rib cage, I'm going to trim that off. Okay. Um, but let me get the other fillet and then I'll do both yeah, the fillets yeah. all together. So do you it, keep the head? Uh, I mean, well, I think you guys want to keep the yeah, carcass, I don't keep you? the carcass, yeah. We're going to mount the carcass. <laughs> Yeah, no. we don't want to take their other, we want to take your other carcasses if you don't want them. Okay. It's really just a short bait. Do you think this was bigger than the tuna? Mm, no. Probably like I think it was about, about the same size. Same size yeah. This one was big. That pink is so fish. cool looking. Yeah. yeah. And you, you guys, your kids all eat a lot of fish. They like fish? No. None of them eat fish. You don't eat fish? I eat fish all the time. What are you talking about? Sometimes fish you'll eat the fish. <laughs> no, fish actually, fish. actually, yeah, in our so in our videos, <laughs> Reagan is the official taste tester. Oh. So yeah, she does. Do you give it the fork? She does do that. Like, um, but then when we make it, like a quantity wise, she'll. I order she'll, fish every time we go to eat. What are you talking about? No. Huh? You You're did doing eat, me dirty you, here. You did this last time, but you don't eat the fish that we prep. Usually. Yes, I do. That's living. We don't want to wash it off with fresh water because it gets mushy then, so we're going to rinse it out in the salt water. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. Stiffens up. Yeah. 
You like Get a little bit stupid. more meat off of that. Carcass there. All right, Code, your first fish, you got to eat a piece of it raw. Oh. Yeah, that's sashimi. I got some soy sauce in there. That's good stuff. Can you eat this stuff raw? Oh, yeah. Good. You, you, you can do sushi. that. We can I'll try. clean this up a little bit in the canal here and uh, sled it into slices and put a little bit of soy sauce on that. Super good. Maybe Super do a little bit. All right, you want to see what he's eating? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. This guy's kind of skinny, so it's gonna look like he's eating poop. Probably not gonna. What it's gonna look like? Like the nasty part. Not fish right there. Can I see? Smells like chum. Looks like it. Looks. All the organs. Yeah. There's a stomach. That's a stomach right there. There's nothing in it. Not much in it, I don't think. Boston got sick. Oh, there's the stomach. That's the stomach. Let's see what's in there. Oh, yeah, there's a decomposed fish in there. So he ate a baby fish. Well, it's partially, partially digested. He wasn't, it wasn't uh, completely empty. Yeah, there's other bones. I can feel bones of other fish in there. Oh so my cool. word, that's awesome. Yeah, you can see all the bones. Yeah. Look at that. Bones and scales from all the other fish he's eating. Oh my word. That's chum yeah. right there. Now the kids swim in the canal, so I don't, uh, oh. I don't throw all this stuff in there. Okay, so I'm going to clean these fillets up, get rid of these fins. How do you like tell if there's bones in it or not? Well, there is. There's going to be pin bones in it, so I'll split those off once I pin bones. skin it here. Yeah. What are pin bones? I'll show you. They're probably like pins. Okay. Yes. So we got to rinse it anyway. Okay, so there's right in here in the bloodline, in between there's little pin bones in there. So you cut those out. And you kind of are left with a V-shaped fillet really to get rid of those bones. Oh, that's cool. Yep. That's awesome. And there you go. That's a clean fillet. We'll rinse that off, and that's a good dinner. Is this dinner. the rib cage you're talking about? Mm. No, these are the pin bones that are kind of between. Isn't there so they're right here that comes up to the, it connects to the rib cage, but it comes back to about here. Those are minnows. Oh, where's the baggy jaw that I gave you? Because you can use this for bait too. Yeah. Well, we can cut off a piece of that because it still is. We can go like the skin. I don't know. Dad, look Try. at that. Yeah, like, it looks like a number four. Can you see? Can it turn around? Like oh, yeah. Number four fish. Who's the number four car? Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. It oh, yeah. Four. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, four. that looks exactly. What is Perfect it? Perfect for eating. That is pretty. That, what is four, it? Four. You Perfect guys for eating. So that is four out of four. Oh, yeah. I'm just using my You're hand to just follow the knife to make sure that I'm staying as close to the... Look at that. Yeah, that's perfect. That's that's pretty not good. a lot of waste on that. Yeah, it's a little that's stretchy. Really good. That's not a four. Okay, this so one's there's a little stretchy. So is this right some bait too? Here. I don't know, do you keep all that as bait? That's an A. Yeah, all the yeah. chunks you yeah, can... Yeah, it's an A. You guys want to like treat it like chumming off the bridge, you mm -hmm. can toss it in. Well, we could throw a skin. Ooh. Or do you think we'd be able to throw a skin out there? That's like Kasha yeah. and he got good whites from skin. There we go, there's That's good fillets. Yeah, you That's good meat. That's good meat. Let them try one of them. No. Like no, sashimi? Yeah. Yeah, not one of those kids is going to eat that. I would. I will. Yeah. I'll, I'll, eat I'll eat a raw piece. I'll eat a raw piece. Yeah, I don't think we'll eat a raw piece. Grab fish. one of those clean bags and I'm going to rinse. Probably a minute or two. It's a dang low. I'm going to have to go on the boat. Yeah, yeah they will murder you. They were, they're already getting me. Okay. Don't lose All right. That's the bag. That's the good stuff. So you put it in salt water to keep it from going mushy. Yeah, from getting mushy. You're gonna cook it when you're done here anyway, but you can freeze it or put it in the fridge just like just like this. Robert Arrington's got a channel called Deer Meat for Dinner, and he did an experiment in an episode, and he let fish sit cleaned in the fridge. And it was like, he kept going back and checking it, eating pieces of it to find out when it finally went bad. Uh -huh. And fresh fish like this just rinsed in salt water in the fridge. It was like 
it's either 14 or 17 days. It was a long oh time before it finally started getting rancid or something after that. All right, folks, that's all we got for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, down in the descriptions, I'll put in the Holings YouTube channel to reference that. Their video might be a lot better than this one, but thanks for following along. Uh, 